Well, an opening statements will begin first thing tomorrow morning in the high profile trial of the former GOP strategist charged with sex trafficking minors. It took just one day to seat a jury in the Anton Lazaro case. Lou Ragusa is live at the federal courthouse in Minneapolis with today's developments. Lou. Well, Lauren and Julie, it's always a little surprising how many jurors have heard absolutely nothing about such a high profile case. But jury selection today went very swiftly with Chief Judge Patrick Schiltz dismissing everyone who knew specific details about what's alleged. With Anton Lazaro's co-defendant Gisela Castro Medina having already pleaded guilty to conspiracy to commit sex trafficking of minors, Judge Patrick Schiltz took no chances with the jury. Anyone who's read details about Castro Medina or other specifics about the case, Schiltz immediately excused from the jury pool. Castro Medina is now the star witness for the prosecution of Lazaro. She says he paid her to recruit girls to have sex with him for money in his luxury penthouse condo in the Hotel Ivy in downtown Minneapolis. Prosecutors say Lazaro asked Castro Medina to recruit broken girls who were young, small, and vulnerable. Court filings indicate that Lazaro met Castro Medina and one of the five alleged victims through the sugar daddy website SeekingArrangement.com. Lazaro eventually tried to get that alleged victim and her father to sign a non-disclosure agreement. They refused. Lazaro has said from the beginning the investigation is politically motivated as his condo was raided and he was arrested while he was conducting his own investigation into a past marriage of Congresswoman Ilhan Omar. Judge Schiltz ruled those details will not be allowed in the trial. What we know so far about Lazaro's defense is that he says the sex was consensual and that he wasn't paying for it, but rather giving generous gifts to the girls. And so a jury of 16 people, nine women and seven men will hear this case. Four of them will end up being alternates when they go to deliberate. And, uh, and so tomorrow morning at 930, the opening statements will begin. And I'll be live tweeting here from the federal courthouse if you'd like to follow along in real time. Back to you.